So you're thinking of moving to Las Vegas, Nevada, more specifically Centennial Hills, but you kind of want to know the good and the bad, the pros and the cons, what to look out for, maybe what you should avoid whenever you're making that move to Centennial Hills. Well, that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video, and we're going to get after it right now. If you are new to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad about living in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas like Centennial Hills, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the very first to know about the current market here in Las Vegas. Hi, my name is Mark Pepe and the team and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Las Vegas. We are passionate about removing the stress of relocating to a completely new city and state. As a real estate professional here, it doesn't matter whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'll be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Las Vegas. So here we are talking about the pros and the cons, the good and the bad about living and moving to Centennial Hills. Now Centennial Hills population is now up to 52,000 people and growing rapidly. In fact, this suburb has seen an increase of 16% just in the last couple years alone. Centennial Hills was formally established in January of 2001. So prior to this time, this area was just referred to as the Northwest. It was at the time considered way off the beaten path, far removed from other communities and attractions here in Las Vegas. However, that has since changed considerably over the last 20 years with all the new infrastructure and residential growth. This leads us right into our first pro, which is newer developments. Now, since Centennial Hills was just founded in 2001, it pro really provides residents with newer developments to live in, not only residential, but also commercial, with a number of newer shopping centers and even one of the top hospitals in the Las Vegas Valley, which is Centennial Hills Hospital Medical Center, which opened in 2008. You know, this suburb is considered the newest suburb in all of the Las Vegas Valley. During the developmental phase, the builders and the city planning officials were very intentional about building smaller, non-grand master plan communities that consist of 20 to 100 homes, each with their own HOA. Now with this, you get a lot more intimate neighborhood feel, which is appealing to so many people. Now, if you prefer the larger master plan communities, there are three options to choose from. There's Sky Canyon, there's Providence, and then there's Sunstone, which is a 55 plus community. You know, all three of these wonderful communities offer outstanding amenities. This area also provides one of the best places to live in Las Vegas if you need more room to roam with more land available than most other suburbs here in the Las Vegas Valley which typically also does not have an HOA as well. If you need an equestrian property, they are very common in this area too. So no matter your preference, Centennial Hills provides an abundance of housing options. Our next pro is affordable home prices. Now, if you're considering moving from any part of California, Washington State, or the Northeast, you're going to find that home prices anywhere in the Las Vegas Valley are going to be more affordable than what you are used to. Now I know that's stating the obvious, but prices here in Centennial Hills tend to be close to the median price point for Las Vegas as a whole, as the median list price per square foot is at a very reasonable $252. Compare that to Summerlin, median home price per square foot of $363, you can see how your dollar goes a lot further in this area. You know, the key differentiator is that Centennial Hills offers areas that are newer, like, like we just discussed, than other areas with similar price points. 
The majority of the time when you think of lower or medium price points, you are typically in older neighborhoods within Las Vegas. Not so the case here in Centennial Hills. If you prefer to be on the west side of the Las Vegas Valley and Summerlin is out of your price range, Centennial Hills is a terrific option. So let's talk about our next pro, and that is recreational options. Centennial Hills is in close proximity to a number of world-class recreational options for all ages. If the outdoors is an important part of your lifestyle, you are going to love this area and find it very, very appealing. One is Centennial Hills Park. It's the largest park in Centennial Hills and offers everything you can think of within a park, as well as an amphitheater for special events throughout the year. The second recreational venue I want to talk about is Floyd Lamb Park at Tule Springs. It's on 680 acres with scenic views of the spring mountain ranges, serene lakes, along with fishing opportunities if you have a fishing license, and plenty of wildlife. Then there's Tule Springs Fossil Beds National Monument. It was established as the 405th unit of the National Park Service on 22,000 acres. It's an urban national monument that preserves thousands of Ice Age fossils. Many of these Ice Age animals of Tule Springs are still alive today. That include the coyote, the jackrabbit, and the aquatic snails. Then you have Mount Charleston, which is only approximately a 30, maybe 35 minute drive straight up the mountain. It's not nearly as windy as if you were driving up to Big Bear in Southern California. Centennial Hills is the closest community to Mount Charleston. So if you love to ski or snowboard, guess what? Las Vegas Ski and Snowboard Resort is located close by in Lee Canyon. During the summertime, there's great hiking and camping options available in Mount Charleston. It's a phenomenal place to go visit. And in the summertime as well, temperatures are about 30 degrees cooler up in Mount Charleston than in Las Vegas Valley. So you're a quick 30 minutes away to get 30 degrees cooler. The next uh, point I wanted to mention, or the next venue, is Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area. Only a 15 minute drive south, which offers world-class rock climbing, hiking, biking. You can also take a drive if you wanna stay in your car on the 13 mile scenic route with breathtaking views of Red Rock and the Las Vegas Valley. If you love hitting the links, there are two awesome golf clubs in the Centennial Hills area. You've got Painted Desert Golf Club and you've got Las Vegas Paiute Golf Resort. The scenery and the setting at both of these clubs are absolutely incredible. In addition, the only two TPC golf courses in all of Nevada is located in Summerlin, just again 10-15 minutes south. And there's also a number of other golf courses and clubs in Summerlin within again a 15 max, max 20 minute drive if you're talking South Summerlin, Summerlin South, um, to you to, to enjoy as well. And there's also a couple of outstanding golf clubs in neighboring North Las Vegas too. So if you love the golf, plenty of options uh, close by. Our next pro is something that I talk about on every pros and cons video because it is truly a game changer and that is zero state income tax. You know, it has to rank right up there at the top of the list when it comes to advantages of living not only in Las Vegas Valley, but obviously Centennial Hills. Now, there are only nine states in the US without state income tax, and Nevada is one of them. What does that mean for you? Well, if you're looking to escape one of the 41 states like California, New York, Illinois, etc., that has state income tax, when you move to Centennial Hills, you are gonna receive a 10 to 14% raise overnight. Now, with inflation on the rise, this savings will really come in handy. Las Vegas also has lower sales tax rate, which is currently at 8.38%. Now, a few other Nevada tax benefits include no tax on social security, also lower property taxes. 
In fact, Nevada has some of the lowest in the nation at roughly 0.74% of your home purchase price, while the national average is at 1.07%. Next is no tax on pensions and no tax on estate or inheritance. Now, so no, really, no matter your income level, the tax advantages here in Nevada alone make living in Centennial Hills absolutely worth it. So let's shift gears now and talk about a few cons that come with living in Centennial Hills. The first one is extended commute times. Now, while Centennial Hills has accessibility to two major freeways, which is the 95 and 215, getting to downtown, the Las Vegas Strip, or other areas in the Southwest or Henderson is gonna make your commute time a little bit longer if you lived here rather than other suburbs like Spring Valley or Enterprise. Now, I'm speaking in relative terms here. You are looking at additional 10 to 15 minutes 30 to 35 minutes absolutely max to get to the areas I just mentioned. I, now I know if you live in other major metropolitan areas, you're not gonna bat an eye at a worst case scenario 30 minute commute. So it's not doom and gloom, but it's something to be aware of if you decide to call Centennial Hills home. Now on the flip side, being a little further away helps prevent being uh, sucked into all the busyness and hustle and bustle that Las Vegas can be. So depending on your perspective, you really get the best of both worlds by not being too close, but yet not far, far enough away either here in Centennial Hills. The next con is education. Now Centennial Hills does offer a wide range in school rankings by greatschools.org throughout the community. There are 44 schools between public, which are part of the Clark County School District, and there's also private and charter schools as well. The highest ranked schools, according to greatschools.org, include O'Rourke and Bill Bray Elementary Schools, you have Somerset Academy Lone Mountain, and then you have the Northwest Career and Technical Academy. Now, similar to other suburbs around the Las Vegas Valley, there are pockets of schools that do not rank as high. You know, my team and I will work with you to ensure we find you a home zoned for the school of your choice. With two kids myself, I know the importance and the critical uh, desire to find quality education for our children. The next con is public transportation. Now, while Centennial Hills does have public transportation, it is limited as there are a relatively low number of routes particularly in adjacent communities, often making it difficult to connect from one suburb to the next. This means you'll most likely want to own a car or take advantage of the rideshare co uh, companies for your transportation needs. Fortunately, as we've discussed in the past, Las Vegas' freeway system makes it relatively easy to quickly navigate around town and traffic is generally pretty good. Now you're also gonna to wanna to take in consideration you may spend more money in gas should you be traveling outside of the Centennial Hills area quite frequently. Well, I think this gives you a good overview of the pros and the cons of living in Centennial Hills. When it comes to living in the Las Vegas Valley, this suburb has many unique benefits and features that are not quite common in other areas around the valley. If this community interests you, I am confident we will find you the perfect home as you relocate to Centennial Hills. I hope you found this video beneficial. Please subscribe below and comment if you have any questions or found this video helpful. Also, be sure to check out our other videos on Centennial Hills and the surrounding areas so you can get a realistic sense of what it would feel like to live here in Las Vegas. So whether you are moving in 90 days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even book a Zoom appointment with us in the description here below. We are passionate about helping people just like you make a smooth and stress-free move to Centennial Hills. So until next time, we hope to see you around town soon.